Good morning gamers, welcome back. I am the AMDM Lee. This is my cup of coffee and you're watching Fomantic Games. Oh, that's so good. So, real quick, Kenny Johnson. Kenny, you need to send me an email. FMTRPG at gmail.com Send me an email. Let me know your information so I can send you the stuff. This is week two. Uh, if I don't hear from you tomorrow morning, I will be choosing a new winner. Uh, so, without further ado, let's move on to the challenge. We are doing the 30-day Critical Role Challenge, Campaign 1. Now... I've gone over favorite characters, favorite episodes, uh, guest PCs, all of this. Favorite character moments, what rules, things of that nature. Merchandise. I've even covered Brian W. Foster. I don't know why, but I've covered it. Relationships, ideas, concepts. Today is going to be a little meta. So, today's challenge, which member of the cast or their characters would you like to have dinner with and why? Ooh, good question, right? All right. So, I thought about this. All right. We'll start with Ashley or Pike. Ashley's awesome. Um, she's very cool. The Pike at Pike. Pike Pike is too pious for me. Uh, I don't I don't I don't think I could handle Pike. Uh, Grog, I'd love to have dinner with Grog. Grog would be awesome to have dinner with. It would just be meat and beer. And also ale. Grog would be an awesome person to have dinner with. Travis? Travis is more of a sports fan than I am. Uh, so I don't think I would like... I mean, I like Travis. Uh, I just don't think I would like to have dinner with Travis. Nothing wrong with Travis. He's just, I don't think we have the same um, hobbies other than d and I mean, he's jocks machina. I'm not a jock <laughs> at all. So we move from there. Uh, Marisha or Keyleth? No, Keyleth is too nice and Marisha just... I like them. I like both Marisha and Keyleth. Just not my my greatest. You know, I, I don't see myself having dinner with them. Laura Bailey or Vex? No. Again, I like these people. Just not a fan. Uh, Liam or and, and Vax? No. Again, I, I love these. I love these people. I love these characters. I just don't see myself having dinner with them. Scanlan, okay. Scanlan falls in the same category as Grog. Having dinner with them would be would be fun. I mean, again, Scanlan and Grog are my two favorite characters, out of the the first. Uh Scanlan, I, I could definitely have dinner with. It'd be fun. It'd probably be at a Chuck E. Cheese. No, Grog would be at a Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, that would be hilarious. Whack-a-mole. Whack-a-mole with Grog. I would like to rage. Grog! Oh, that would be hilarious. So, uh, Scanlan would push the electronic mouse over and start singing. <laughs> so, but uh, Sam Regal. Sam Regal's a genius. And But I don't think... I, I, I don't think... Uh, I don't think we have a lot in common. So, Mercer, Matt Mercer, okay. I'd love to have dinner with Matt. 
just to pick his brains on GM stuff and D and D, because the man is is a great storyteller. Brian Foster, I would probably get annoyed with. I like Brian, but again, video he's like he's like the as the the one person said, and I'm sorry I don't have your name in front of me. Uh, he's like the little brother that annoys you. In about 15 minutes, I'd probably go, all right, Brian, it's time for you to go. <laughs> but, Percy, and, did I, did I cover everyone? Vex Vax, Mike Vance, Terry Darrington, we don't have anything in common. Percy, I don't have nothing in common with Percy. Percy seems too aristocratic for my, for my taste. I mean, he's got his down and dirty side, but still. Talison. Now, Talison is somebody I would love to have dinner, dinner with. I think we have a lot of similar... Uh, I think we would have a lot to talk about. Not just game-wise and comic book-wise or Renaissance Festival-wise, but in other categories of our life. Metaphysically speaking, uh, you know he's the, you know they all always joke about him being the the vampire lord that sleeps in a coffin and does you know controls the dark forces of the universe. I can get behind that. I, I think me and uh, with and Talison would have a, a, a an interesting philosophical conversation. Dealing with religion and all of that good stuff. And it would be a blast. Because we would also talk about Dungeons and Dragons and comic books. So that would be a blast. I would love to have a conversation with Talis and Jaffe and Matt Keys together over dinner. That would be an awesome dinner. If you don't know who Matt Keys is, go check him out on the Wednesday Club on Geek and Sundry. Uh, he co-hosts it with Talis and it's a good show. Along with Amy Dallin. Very good show. So, um, yeah, I would love to have dinner with Talison. Like I said, I think we would. Have, there, there's a, there's a lot of topics, and I would like to pick his brain on certain ones. So that's who I would like to have dinner with. Now it's, it changes up a little bit for when you go into the campaign two, but we won't cover that now. We'll cover that after campaign two is over with. Again, that's the people I would like to have dinner with. The characters, the people. Uh, Character-wise, I would love to have dinner with Grog and Scanlan. Either one, it wouldn't matter. They could flip for it. They could pay, play uh, Boulder Shears Parchment. Parchment Boulder Shears. <clears throat> so, but as a person, as the, the actor, the, the, the cast, it would definitely be Taliesin. That would be a lot of fun. So, of course, afterwards, Cthulhu might show up. Never know what we'd get into. Anyway, so tell me, you guys, tell me in the comments, who you, which member of the cast would you like to have dinner with? Cast or their characters would you like to have dinner with and why? That's all I've got for now. If you like these videos, please click on the like button because there's only one more after today of the Critical Role Challenge. So, tell me uh, who you'd like to have dinner with, why, like the comment, if you think someone else would like the videos, please share it. Every like is an inspiration, every share is an advantage, and every subscription is an experience point. I'm trying to reach 300 experience points so I can get to second level. And as always, for any video that you share, the AMDM does hereby authorize you to gain 10 experience points. That's all I got for now, guys, so go roll some dice.